Vacancy rate. Who wants to tell me what a vacancy rate is? Come on. <laughs> Somebody speak up. No, no. What is a vacancy rate? I'm sorry? No, well. Number of possible days it could be empty in a year. I'm sorry? Number of possible days it could be empty in a year. Number of possible days it could be empty in a year. That's a good one. Anybody else? Say number of possible days as a percentage. So if we have 20 units, right? This is the this is the thing that whatever but this is my portion of what everybody should learn today. The reason that we do this, so there should be a die around front. There's a little bit. So if you just take one, throw it up in the air. Throw, throw it up, just take one, throw it up. I got four here. I got one here. I got two. Anybody get a six on those dice yet? Got a one again. So, so what happens is when we're looking to buy something or somebody else is looking to buy something, this is your vacancy rate. It's a roll of the dice. Because if we can assume whatever vacancy rate we want, right? We can say it's 5%, bank can assume it's 20%. But what happens is what we as investors lose sight of is not the vacancy rate, but the turn cost. So simple math, we have 20 units. 5% vacancy rate would be one unit being vacant for the entire year, right? One unit being vacant for the entire year, 5% vacancy rate. However, we could have 12 units vacant, just like rolling the dice. We could have 12 units vacant one month a year. The turn cost on that roll of the dice, <laughs> it'll break you. We had a complex um, that I managed that I bought for an investor. Um, significantly under market. The mere fact that the eight little eight unit project, the mere fact that we told people it was under new management and we were going to have the rent to be collected on time, we had five people move out. <laughs> Now, they moved from a great area past Sweetwater, way on to so it's in, it was in Lenore City, and they left where they were and moved on down to Lenore City. So, what happens is the reason that we're doing this, the reason I want people to remember the what the dice, is because when we're looking at a property, if we're renting it at $750 a month and we're getting an 11% rate of return on it, we're running 100% occupancy for 10 years at a time. We only have a vacancy every eight or nine or 10 years or when those people die. I've bought property that the tenants have been in the property more than 30 years paying rent. But what happens is we're not collecting the money to improve the neighborhood. We're not doing all the cosmetic repairs that the neighbors of that house might do, might want done. But the people who live there are wonderfully happy. Is it our responsibility to raise the rents so that people who want to live in the neighborhood can move into the neighborhood, such as what's going on in the Park Ridge community today, called gentrification, going in everywhere in South Knoxville. Nobody that lives in South Knox lived in South Knoxville six years ago is going to live there in two more years. <laughs> it's going to be uh, the only reason they haven't sold their house yet. So the markets move so fast in South Knoxville, nobody can keep up. But where is our responsibility as investors, right? What is enough of a return where we're getting a return on our asset and we're happy with 100% occupancy even if it's an 80% of market value for the rents, maybe 60% of market value. Because we either don't want to spend the cash to upgrade the unit, we like the tenants, we don't want to deal with the hassle, we don't care what the neighbors think about our house, the people that are living there are wonderful and they pay us every month. As soon as we fix it up and as soon as we spend $30,000 doing the remodel, those people aren't going to live there anymore. The people who move in and pay 900, 950 thousand a month, they're tickled to death. They're sorry for the other fact. It's not those people, but they didn't know that, right? So this is what we're going to talk about in the second part of the presentation.